With organized labor lacing its boot for a planned protest against a 15% VAT on electricity consumption, despite government assurance that tax is no more, the International Monetary Fund has reminded Ghana to stick to the course of its program. The latest, despite not directly in response to the planned withdrawal of the tax, comes at a time experts and citizens alike urge government to forfeit what is a key revenue measure. The 15% tax, believed to be an IMF condition to raise revenue, has been a bone of contention between government and its employers. Its announcement has been met with public outcry. But for IMF Director of African Department, Abebe Salasi, any action which negates the ongoing program could have some consequences for the Ghanaian economy believed to be seen a rebound. Going forward, it will be really, really important that Ghana continues to implement the program uh, that they have developed uh, as envisaged. Um, that is really uh, critical. Uh, these programs are not, uh, you know, are designed to be implemented over three, four years. Um, uh, and it's really important that, you know, you stick the, Ghana sticks the course. Dean of the University of Cape Coast Business School, Professor John Gachi, however, believes the decision to scrap the 15% VAT should prompt the government to reevaluate its revenue figures and expenditure estimates. If you are not sensitive to the people and you bring in this task, don't be blaming IMF. If a task handle cannot be applied, mm -hmm. you only revise your entire expectation. That is the right thing to do. But to put us in a situation as though if that task target is not achieved, then something so bad is going to happen to the economy. I think that is trying to blackmail all, all of us into difficulties. Government is still yet to officially communicate its decision on the withdrawal of the controversial tax. As to whether the latest position from the fund will cause a rethink, only time will tell.